Visit www.mx24online.com for news, exclusive behind-the-scenes videos, up-to-the-minute sports update, and the latest broken pen stories now. Experience more of MX24 Online. Visit mx24online.com today. MX24. Fun, fearless, and factual. The 12th Adonko RTP Awards are ready. Who walks home with prestige and pride? The 12th Adonko RTP Awards comes up at the Moving Peak Ambassador Hotel. Sunday, 11 December 2022, 4 p.m. sharp. The 12th Adonko RTP Awards is sponsored by Adonko Company Limited, Adonko Next Level Energy Drink, Jim Ray Estate, Special Drinks, Simisura by Abdul, Yas Tissues, Dofio Roofing Systems, A to Z Auto Servicing, and Corporate Ghana Awards. For Foriwa Oyo to win Television Discovery of the Year Award, dial star 447 star 111 hash. Enter nominee code 49 to vote. Nominees for the 12th Adonko RTP Awards are ready. Who walks home with prestige and pride? The 12th Adonko RTP Awards comes up at the Moving Peak Ambassador Hotel. Sunday, 11 December 2022, 4 p.m. sharp. The 12th Adonko RTP Awards is sponsored by Adonko Company Limited, Adonko Next Level Energy Drink, Jim Ray Estate, Special Drinks, Simisura by Abdul, Yas Tissues, Dofio Roofing Systems, A to Z Auto Servicing, and Corporate Ghana Awards. For MX24 TV to win Merging Television Station of the Year Award, dial star 447 star 111 hash. Enter nominee code 38 to vote. She give me wine and a whole lot and a Nominees for the 12th Adonko RTP Awards are ready. Who walks home with prestige and pride? The 12th Adonko RTP Awards comes up at the Moving Peak Ambassador Hotel. Sunday, 11 December 2022, 4 p.m. sharp. The 12th Adonko RTP Awards is sponsored by Adonko Company Limited, Adonko Next Level Energy Drink, Jim Ray Estate, Special Drinks, Simisura by Abdul, Yas Tissues, Dofio Roofing Systems, A to Z Auto Servicing, and Corporate Ghana Awards. For DJ Varoski to win Television Male Entertainment Show Host of the Year Award, dial star 447 star 111 hash. Enter nominee code 112 to vote. She give me wine and a whole lot and a And we're back. Place will become so wide, your husband will leave you. <laughs> if I take his, like I'm taking. Whoa. The equipment, uh, speakers, and all of those things. So yes, you bought. I bought them. We're taking it a notch higher this season. Issues like side chicks, toxic relationships and marriages, postpartum sex, and the hard stuff like breast cancer, fibroids, and attempted suicide. No matter what happens, if one day I wake up and I feel he's no more, I should just know that. He left my mother and my siblings in my care. We Got This Africa is produced by April Communications with support from Kaiser and proudly brought to you by Frital. Frital, you deserve a life of goodness. Nominees for the 12th Adonko RTP Awards are ready. Who walks home with prestige and pride? The 12th Adonko RTP Awards comes up at the Moving Peak Ambassador Hotel. Sunday, 11 December, 20 the 12th Adonko RTP Awards is sponsored by Adonko Company Limited, Adonko Next Level Energy Drink, Jim Ray Estate, Special Drinks, Simisura by... Systems, A to Auto Servicing, and Corporate Ghana Awards. Follow me to Intel Television Discovery Award, Dell Star 447 Stage. Yep, you're welcome back to MX24 
So with Wesley and now I have in the studio. The studio is just full right now. What I say? I have all my my guests here, and we're just going to move and do everything you're supposed to do. So, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to introduce themselves. Themselves. I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do um, my usual thing. Go out of you too. And so you know, you know, you do. Out. All right. I want you to start, but you're out. So, so uh, the gentleman is starting. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. All right. Well, thank you very much. Um, Fabrice Thompson, my name. Um, I am a model and also I represent Greater Accra Head of Models for Ghana Models. Hey, yeah. ah, so you know that means we'll be doing a lot of um, car working today. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But you're welcome to the show. Thank you bro. so much, my brother. And yeah, I'm Akusia Amwabia, and I'm a brand promoter. I'm a hair braider, and I'm a student. All right, so which brand are you promoting right now? Um, a lot. <laughs> a lot. Oh, the girl is cussing now. <laughs> wow. Because I want to be like you when I grow up. Is it possible? I want to be like you when I grow up. You? you want to be like who, me? You. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I want to be like you, want to be like me. Then we'll do a change of gifts. Yeah. Anyways, you guys are welcome to the Thank show. You so much. How's your week been like? It's been a lot. It's, it's been, been a lot. Yeah. Are, you, are you experiencing the whole December fever, the uh, traffic and all of that? Yeah, the traffic is there, but I don't really go out. So. Oh, so that means you're not really experiencing it like this. Like... But the Christmas now, you see, it should be everywhere, but I'm not really feeling it. I went out and I'm not seeing anything. I mean, okay. Feeling it, you know? Even I know mm. oh, some more. <laughs> Bro, how, how's your week been like? Are you also feeling the Christmas fever? My my week has been amazing and the fever is it's coming up. I, I feel it's taking its process. When you get to the streets of Accra, you can see some lightning everywhere, especially when you get to in and around the National Theatre, you yeah. can see lights in and around it. It's kind of give you some edge that okay, I don't know about. So you just need to grab it. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Anyways, my week hasn't been bad as well, but I, I'm, I'm feeling the Christmas fever today. Okay. It started like it has. It started today because I feel like today's show, which is this show, is like the opener oh. of Christmas. So I think I'm almost at Christmas day. But the fever part, the traffic. I stayed in traffic for close to two hours yesterday. I said, eh. Hey, wow. in but anyways, that's just by the way. So we're gonna go straight into our discussion and uh, you know you really cool. so has it you kinda style be heavy, but please for me I don't promote violence into no and you you have my Yeah. It's been long. Uh <laughs> anyway, so uh, the first thing we're gonna talk about is Ashake. Now mm. Ashake <clears throat> Ever since he, he was fame, yeah, it's been one case to the other. Like, there's always something with him. It's not even about his songs. It's about his um, attendance to his own shows. I mean, there's been instances where um, he um, people paid for a small... Whatever auditorium he was using was so small for the number of people that were coming for the show. There's been instances where he was super late. It hasn't been one, it hasn't been two, it hasn't been three. Like... It keeps going on and on. But the last one that shook everyone was when um, he had a show at uh, Birmingham, right? And then he went very late. So upon, you know, getting to the stage, his fans decided to go at him. And then, you know, a lot of those people complained. After they complained, Naka was about apologize, you know. He didn't even apologize. He came to, you know, post a picture of him flexing with some dollars and stuff like that. And no kidding, you mean he's been trolled on TikTok, hey, Mr. TikTok. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on, on Twitter. Do you understand? Now, the, the question for me is is it, is it a start for him to, you know, show? So this is the picture he posted, and this is what he wrote. This is, uh, okay, no, these are some of the tweets from the picture he posted. So, this is typically Nigerian. People are making Nigerian complaining about bad behavior late appearances on safe show and you show them that you made money or you're rich because money trumps decency oh. so instead of he coming to apologize which would have been the ultimate goal no? like the first thing to have done he came to post this picture and uncle for say hey so more they be a hey, or dear but do, do you think that um is, is something that should be normal like the fact that it's social and you have to come really late 
and then when you come, I don't, I don't think he even apologized on the stage because if he did that, it would have made sense. If he had apologized on the stage, I don't think people would even insult him when he posted that picture. But he didn't do anything. I mean, he came to the stage and then just started performing, and after that, he didn't even apologize to his own fans. I'm thinking that he doesn't respect his fans. Okay. I mean, yeah. I'm wrong. I agree with you. You do. I agree. <laughs> it's it's total disrespect because you are late. And you know one thing about these abroad people is they don't joke with their time, they don't joke with their money. So as an artist, it is your show. So you should be on time. And right. even if you are late, I mean, you can just apologize. It's just about communicating. Apologize, oh, I'm sorry for coming late. That would have even calmed them down. And after that, you post pictures of you holding money. It means that next day, so to help with whatever you're saying. I mean, it's disrespectful, to be very honest. Okay. And, and I also feel that if, if he's putting up such an attitude to promote his brand, at the end of the day, he's digging his own grave because yeah. your, your music career is not supported by yourself. Your, friend, your fans or your friends will carry on, on along the way. So, so if you don't give them, you don't show them the needed respect, trust me. Because why a late crown? I understand it's why a late crown. He, he wasn't able to perform to some specific limit of time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Performing some few minutes being off his stage. You know, someone's performing for like a very short period of time. Ashaka has wow. hits now. I mean, so you have so many. You've, 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 you've released an album. The album has so many hits. You can't perform. But why would you perform for a short time after being late on top? That is like, the point. Why? Who does that? This do? indeed is a question for the gods. Now, we're going to read a few tweets about um, uh, Ashaka's disrespect to us. But before we do that, we'll go on a quick commercial break. When we're back, we read some tweets. Don't worry, baby. Ghana welcomes you Aiko. and the rest of the world to Afro Nation 2022. The fun begins on the 29th to the 30th of like December you. at Accra Marine Drive, Black Star Square. Live on stage, David O, Meat Mill, P Square, Rema, and many more. To purchase your general admission day tickets, dial star 92. Zero, star six zero star zero zero hash two three three five nine three zero four two eight six eight The world has gathered for football's greatest showpiece and Betway is giving you the chance to win on the cup in Qatar. Score free entries to win a share of three million Ghana CDs across the tournament. Enter our daily draws to win a guaranteed 30,000 Ghana CDs every match day. From the group stages to the final, it's a full month of incredible action. Only at betway.com.gh. Terms and conditions apply. Regulated by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. The thrill. The performance. The surprises. Get ready for the most historic event. Hashtag Wizkid Live Accra. Hashtag Don't Miss It. Global superstar Wizkid Live in Concert. At the Accra Sports Stadium, 10th December. Buy your ticket now on www.livehubent.com or star 920 star 60 star 10 hash. Wizkid Live at the Stadium is presented by Live Hub Entertainment. All of my guys know me all about me, babe. Do you want to go from looking normal to looking your best? Then Dee's Palace is the right place. Our luxury barbering salon offers services including hair coloring, hair styling, beard trimming, dreadlocks, eyebrow threading, hair straightening, tattooing, piercings and recreating all hairstyles. We are in Dakuman, opposite the Alafia stop. To book your session, call us on 020-473-9192. These palace feel like a celebrity. Six 
years of explosive performances by the leader of the movement, a culture, a nation, Beam Nation. Burners Will Music presents the ultimate African Caribbean link up, the Grand Arena, Friday, 23rd December, the sixth edition of the annual Beam Concert with Stoneboy and the legendary Busy Signal. VIP tickets now for 500 Ghana CDs and 200 Ghana CDs regular. Visit beamconcerts.com, dial star 365 star 2022 hash or call 0501. 550-000 for VVIP table reservations. 23rd December, the Grand Arena, 7 p.m. Prompt, Burnetown, Beam Nation to the world. Can you come over? Right now, loneliness taking. I was chopping small coke once and they said, your app in 5, 4, 3, 2, <laughs> well, all right, so we're still talking, oh, in case you just tuned in, this is MX Social, and we just discussed Asha Kea, but now we're going to read a few tweets about his disrespect to we, his fans, I mean, what do I say we? Anyways, um, Asha Kea's Birmingham concert was the worst concert ever. This man didn't come out till 11 p.m. There was a stampede and people were literally fainting up and down. People started leaving because of their safety. The organizers did a very dirty job. Ooh, that's hard. They think it's a flex. They didn't even expect that from Ashake. Knowing well that he's just coming into the limelight. I pray he no go using own hand do himself. Hey, Nigerians will come for you. Until people start um, plating stones or boycotting this kind of deliberate and disciplined artist, I'm sorry, nothing will change. Uh huh. The money and fame came rushing into fast with Ashake deserves for his talent. But it's got but it has gotten to his head obviously. Making bold and risky moves. Don't make the fans having a problem hey, don't make the fans have a problem with you. Body good tells you. Wait. That's how they behave when they feel they are A list arts. Buju, Kiss Daniel, etc. have done the same in the past. It's really disgusting. Not everyone is like big whiz, small fame, and they start feeling themselves. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Yeah, you people think these artists just stay wherever they are and decide they'll come later. Be no grace or benefit of the doubt given. Do y'all ever think of the fact that they? Hey, do y'all ever think of the fact that may have encountered complications on their way to the event? Mm -hmm. Hey, last part in this is the one here, yeah, but remember, jokes on you expecting Nigerian artists to show up early. That's very true, you know. <laughs> Ashake again. You see, that's not the first time he's yeah. disappointed. It looks like he keeps doing it over and over again. No, the show was nice, though. You see, and the sad thing is, they'll perform for like 10 minutes, and you really enjoy that 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And you, woof, but I found. <laughs> reading the thread, you see, reading this thread, you see Nigerians foolishly defending nonsense. That's why we defend useless leaders. He flew all the way to UK for one purpose and was still late for it. And you make stupid excuses for him because of stun culture nonsense. Some African artists have normalized being late to their concerts or not showing up at all. It's just not it. They don't appreciate their audience. All right, so that was the last one for Ashake. And I actually, um, you know, I, I, I wanted to say the F word, but for, forgive me. But I, I really, really, really... Uh, why do I still want to say that word? <laughs> but I, I rock with those, those comments. Most of them were actually very honest. They were telling the, the gospel truth. And I'm a boy. Uh, no, I don't know. No, because, I mean, you can't just be late. I've paid to come and see you and you're coming late. And the fact that you even wasted money for plane ticket just to come to UK to perform and you're late. All right, so uh, talking about UK, now we're going straight to our one and only um, star of all times, which is Black Sharif. Uh, so Black Sharif had a concert in UK, right? And um, I don't know if it was before the show or after the show. So he was interviewed. Now, I want you guys to watch the video before we have that discussion. <laughs> I mean, what? Yeah, we got these issues, man. We hit this rock. It got, it got crazy. 
not just me, but me, my producer, the one that made the beats for Homeless. Right, we right, were right. all homeless when I made that song. And that was like the fourth day when, it, when we made that song. That was the fourth day being homeless. We got homeless for like, um, was it eight days? Mm. Love to Small God, eh? Small God got us a crib. Big up Small God. Yeah. I like Small so like God. Small God's cool, yeah. To lodge and get things together. Move back, you know? Yeah, so Small God gave us that. This thing, when we lodged. That was when we made that song. So I assume yeah, the mission is to man. never be homeless ever, ever again. Yes, man. <laughs> what? We, we got these issues, man. We hit this rock. Go, he is go crazy. so calm. Like, I'm, just me, but me I don't understand what you see. I don't know why people are even coming for him in the first place. My nigga just did what he was supposed to do, and that was it. Because if you just watch the video, he was very calm. There was no tension. He was just... You know, we have people that would, you know, try to fake an accent. Mm. And then you can tell that, yo, you're faking it. Can you just relax mm. a bit? Like, and to talk so well, with Sheriff's on, it looked like he was just being himself. He was just, he was just audible enough. Do you understand? I mean... The accent was accenting. What's he asking? It was given. It was given accent. Like... It was given UK. It was so given So the first day I watched the video, I said, eh, okay, hold on. I was just I was just interested in everything that was going on. And for me I just I don't know why Ghanaians think that okay, we're from this accent. Like he knows how to speak English. Definitely. And he's able to adapt. Because you know, it's not everybody that can just travel to UK for like eight days or six days and then all of a sudden you're speaking yes, like wished. them. Unless you, you you know how to adapt, you know how to fix yourself into like places and then yeah. you know how to come out looking good. One thing, one thing I really appreciate about this particular video about Black Sherry, the way he was so much relaxed. Very! Sitting and expressing himself as to his struggles. You could see that, yes, when the blessing comes to you, nothing stops you. Trust me. It just flows with it. it like, it was just talking as if he has been there for years. Yeah. What's yesterday? Somebody said that the English was contagious. Like, <laughs> the real. Me to hawk and ask me for since I'm a kid. You see, you like, know? you want to put yourself in his shoes just to speak like the yeah. the way he just spoke because so it, it, sound, it sounded so, so nice calm. i don't know if <laughs> so now people are asking hey who call uk two days here now or where is he has to say it say oh yeah oh yeah british and now so no one can say oh yeah same baba so i'm going to put from on the same baba in case like indeed or the same night then abba abba what you are saying but um some people are saying and lafa and if i could see him i'm like you Ghanaians, in you you too you joke too much like you should you play you to explore the jokes are way too much Ghana. the person is doing well he mm. is i mean he really just is. just say that oh i like the way you spoke there like you actually sounded so british like it's nice just can you just say that and let us no, slide you get people actually coming at you for because you are not a gun eh, because you're not a british and you are speaking their Long, accent yeah. no they but, will come for you but do you think the whole um, locally acquired foreign accent is, is a way of making it in the industry? Like, you know, oh, yeah, we've had Sarkwadio go to shows and, you know, when he speaks, you feel like, hey, I mean, he sounds very Ghanaian, but you know there's a little bit of an accent yeah. there too. That's what Sarkwadio. Yeah. So, so as, as you rightly said, Kese, you see, when they get to those stages, they want to fuse themselves with the culture over there. And you know, the Which way I think we, is not bad. Exactly. When you go to Rome, do rock to Rome. That is the point, because like, the way we speak our English here, when you get there, you speak the same. And it might be a little are, bit confusing. Don't forget, we are even studying British English, English in our schools. So it is right if he speaks the British accent. Because I mean, for me, we me me do airport 30, 30 seconds when I'm going to say, excuse me, sir. Uh, the Bluetooth is device water? is ready to pair. Uh, I think the I want you to do it. It has pearled. It has pearled in the plane. That name to me is Mokeke. We see you in our best, son. So in case you see me outside Ghana and I'm in UK, not to send my voice, I say, okay, I'm going to start with airport home. Mm -hmm. Because me and me, I want to put myself in it. Let me show some of the conversation. Yeah. What you yeah. But um, let's read some few tweets from uh, our social media uh, family members. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, it sounds so, quite natural, not forced. Course. Sounds good on him. Very good. Thank you. Y'all yeah, did some and they rained insults on him because his didn't sound like. Like this it, it, it was forced. This like, was forced. Like was I, I, I watched that that, that video. Giving. The quote is defending me because like if you become a Eugene, you do this. You people will have different responses. You see, it's not about the the the, the accent. It's about the person speaking. It's about the person talking. Like 
It's quite usually not someone's hand to say, say yeah. What you just want us to say that you sound good? <laughs> no. I mean, if you don't sound good, Ghanaians will be very. Because trust me, people that don't know Sheriff would think that Sheriff has lived in the UK. Yeah. yeah. Because he didn't even sound like or, or, or Tigana. I, I think so that's the calm. first time I called UK car. Yeah. So calm. I think so. <laughs> well, actually, I know that, sweet. bro, for a second, I thought it was a voiceover. That, I, hey, that's actually so cool. Zongo boy download the accents fast. Hey, Kweku Of course. He actually <laughs> did. Laughing out loud, free him. Some people pick up accents faster than others. Nothing to see here. Also, yeah. he kind of ate it. Yes. He ate he left no crumbs. No, exactly. He left no crumbs. bones. <laughs> Hypocrites. When your talk downloaded the same package, you started an agenda. Please, I wish we could even play your talks video right His now. His download I don't didn't finish. Yes. It, it, it got to 50%. Wow, say 50. That's, yeah. that's sad. Yeah. <laughs> that's really sad. Real. He's definitely a very fast learner. Probably the type to learn by... Um, Continuous hearing okay. without effort. For the first learner, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes. He, he, he is. learns very ah. fast. Yes. Yeah, I was thinking he was proud. He was a proud Konongo Zongo boy. Now, Mali said we go for there. No gets accent to reach this level. Of solid album though. I sure say he watched Blue Story then <laughs> <laughs> before the interview. Right, right. <laughs> I think people don't understand how easy it is to adapt a new accent after spending time with people who speak that way. And it comes out mm -hmm. uh, unconsciously. Hey, then I'm okay. Let me read it again. I think people don't understand how easy it is to adapt a new accent after spending time with people who speak the way. And it comes out unconsciously when you're talking to those people, especially if you are comfortable around them. No stress, my boy, I beg. And this is the same voice that sang. We're with a traveler. <laughs> yeah, so well, this is the same voice. You know, it's so, so funny. Like, why would you even ask if this is the same voice? It's like, they're okay. surprised. I mean, surprised, I mean yeah. this voice. No, but nobody is... actually saw that coming, you know? Yeah. yeah. No we didn't one. think that an accent was going to pop up like that. So when it did, everybody was relaxed. Okay, now let's see how that goes. And for me, it really, it really went well. It really, really well. Oh, I'm it, 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 it. I mean, Sharif has a, has a calm voice. He has a calm aura around him. He's a very calm person. Mm. And so if he's speaking like that, it's not just a, it's even soothing for the soul, you know? Uh, hey, and I also feel any... because of his street life, he gets adapted to any environment. Yeah, he I think he can he can this. adapt to any environment. No, we need to go to the, the States and see if it changes there too. Okay, best is I best shock you. And now we're going straight to um, UPSA. Now UPSA, <laughs> what's the full meaning of UPSA? University of, of Professional, Professional Studies. Studies. Accra. Accra. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Now please, my school, no, hey, why did I even say my school? Is there anyone who attend UPSA? No. 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 Uh, <laughs> all right. And see, I told you your name, say Students with aggregate six and below would re uh -huh, would be rejected by U uh, hey, a UPSA. Hey, then UPSA, I can't make a UPSA. Bro, for name, but hey, I need to travel to UK. <laughs> I need to adapt. Like, I, I don't want a hey. school. A school. A school. A school. No. Hey. So um, UPSA says that um, the next academic year they're not taking any students with um aggregate six and below. Mm. Into the moon, the moon, yeah, ad, ad, admission. Yeah. So this is what they said. This is from Voice of UPSA. It says, believe it or not, it will happen. UPSA will not offer admissions to students <laughs> who score below aggregate six next year, 2023-2024 academic year. Into not just a watch. Yeah, no, but what makes them think they are the first choice school if a student gets aggregate six? I, I feel because of the way they are kind of climbing up the ladder when it comes to education. They, they've yeah. actually climbed they, up the ladder. So, they have, so but I, they're one I of the best schools in Ghana. One of, yes. the, indeed, one of. But I feel Obia Obinya good grade be a person called Egon, KNUSE. You know, these two schools are those. They are the targeted school for these kind of grade six. So if seven, it's if it's Legon that's saying that, then it's a big deal. But if Legon says that, oh, in case someone pay baby now, but I feel that. It's too early for them to say that because you are now climbing, right? And for you to say that you won't accept and you get six, then, then it means that you don't even want students to even come to your school in the first because how many people will be able to get aggregate six? Especially looking at the whole free SHS thing, you that know, means a lot of students will be able to school this year. Like, 
Exactly. Then it means that they would have to go to other schools. Which other schools? Legon, there's tech. Because it's not being a big thing. You're already in Legon and tech. You're going to go on. You're like a wire, ma. On a bone, can you? On. On a bone, can you? On a bone, Oh, come on. We have students. We have But you see, the thing about Legon and tech is. They have a lot of courses, like yeah, a so lot. Definitely you, you so find a place they can fix. they can spread you across. I mean, you might want to do economics and mm -hmm. something, something, but if you're like, okay, you're great with it, let's give you the ontology. Mm -hmm. Now it's up to you to do it or not. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah, understand? But UPSC, you you're you're kind of limited. It has to do with accounting, marketing, okay. public relations, marketing. I don't even know, like, but University of Ghana has the best business school. I don't call University of Ghana. I'm in the University of Ghana. Yeah, yeah. 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 we have the best, uh, oh, the best business, business yeah. school. Yeah, Who I mean. build a necra crabe or corner shop in your business. Oh, nice. Yeah. So if we are not even bragging, say yeah, in just six hours. Yeah, but you see, because you have a lot of courses in your school, mm -hmm. whether you have the best business school, mm -hmm. this school, which is UPSA, is set up for like, it's the full business school. Like, okay. over, so over they don't do yeah. humanities courses. No. Yeah. Even the accountant called your humanities. It's a humanities course. Mm. Yeah, College of Humanities. Unless maybe they don't have the whole college this and that. Well, maybe their system is different, but I feel for them to come out and say that, then it means they don't even want to. No, but don't you think it's actually a good thing? Because oh. now you're admitting a lot of um, kids who are not doing well. Now they come to school and they, they perform terribly. Oh, they do all depends. the things they're not supposed to do. It depends. It depends on the person. I feel university gives people the opportunity to do better but well, don't you think that is from shs because i remember I, I had a classmate in jhs mm -hmm. that was very like no kidding me it could be a bomb, a bomb, huh? yeah but he wrote um bc and then he got a good gate six oh i don't know i've forgotten how that bc thing works mm. jonas out and then when he was in SHS, that was when he really, really like picked up. Exactly. So, so. from SS to uni, and shut down because before like, you need us a lot of harm done good to us. And, and I also feel say if if they are out with such um, message across, anybody who is willing to go to such institution will go heaven and earth to make sure they, they get there. Do you yeah. get it? I feel like they are looking for quality over quantity. Yeah. No, but in this current situation. Are we are we pardoning are we pardoning the, the kids? We are not pardoning the kids, but and you be an six and you be an I don't I don't know how to explain it, but intelligence know. everybody has a different level of intelligence. Ah, so and how many students even get got six this year? Exactly. But me, honestly, when you ask me, mm -hmm. I think it's not a bad thing. Men I'm me school, right? <laughs> and I'm saying that I want students who had ten A eight A's to come to my school. It's like, you can't get 12 and say you want to go to Wesley Girls. No. When you were in JHS, you knew that if you want to go to Wesley Girls, you, you have, have to get straight A's or yeah. straight ones. Right? So you work towards it. I mean, you want to come to UPSC. You don't expect that you get like you get six and you come to UPSC. And I also feel on the other hand, mm -hmm. maybe they might be having issues with their uh, hostels and all those. So they kind don't of have issues with hostels. They don't we have. Are not saying, we have issues. We mm. have accommodation. But hey, they, they do, and they do have have This year, they're not going to be an excuse. But, well, I feel that a uh, school and our person won't say you will accept only aggregate six students. That's fine. But by this time, where people don't even all of already now people do you know a lot of people in this current. Uh, I don't want to go to universities. In fact, they don't even see the importance. Yes, because at the end of the day, they don't get the chance to I go even... get into the market. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, you go to school for fucking... Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry. Four years. Finally, you, know, <laughs> you, 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 go, you go to the uni for, for four, four years, years and then you come and back you can't your fit into the market. You can't work yeah. anywhere. Yeah, yeah, and you now you're telling me that me, me teen should die in your papa and You see, that was what I said. You can't, you won't accept me. But this and I said, maybe person will call UPS next year. Whatever ways and means I need to do to get there, I, I will do it. I feel, I feel. And with that, it's not going to much. help the system. It's not going to even help. Because I think okay. when we're talking about the best three schools in Ghana right now, okay, mm -hmm. I was going to say three, but I just remembered another school. Great. <laughs> just chipping in. Yeah, but I think it's Legon Tech, UPSA. And Winneba. Don't forget about Winneba. Winneba is really oh, pulling strings. Don't forget, in fact, don't forget to all UPS. the universities <laughs> in Ghana are doing great. Trust me. There's no university that you go that they are not doing good. There's, if the school, school, hey, yeah. I forgot to share. We have you, we have UCC there. You're saying, uh, yeah, UCC, 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 UCC,
what you're saying is true. You know, but I, I think what you said is not bad. Though. I mean, well, it's my preference. Well, your opinion, you're oh, valid. Oh, on the this, other side, maybe they're also looking at where they actually also work. You see, UCC is an educational institution. Um, nah, yeah, nah, name. But once once if you study no, exactly, no, come but to no. Legon and experience Legon and mm. you will see but that if, no, if you study this university, actually. if you study this university, say uh -huh. each university have something yeah, they you have can, a niche. Exactly. Yeah. So maybe almost some more niche, almost some of them almost are we know. See maybe almost some more there. But you intentionally come to Legon for a year and see if you will run. Where's the local one? Me. It's a challenge. <laughs> Oh, so you're daring me? Yeah. Just All right, Lego students, um, your next academic year, I'm buying forms. I'll be there for just <laughs> level 100 yeah. just to see how it feels like to be in Lego. But even not, uh, uh, yes, we, no, we need to bet. The, um, Relax. I don't bet. Ah. Betting ah, is hard. Okay. <laughs> but so now, can you be on Rocker $10,000 now? Oh, yeah, you don't bet now. I told you so much. It's okay, Sha. But yeah, that is what UPSA is saying. So if you're a student out there and you want to go to UPSA, um, if you're a student out there and you want to go to UPSA, now we need to go to UPSA. So get six, then you want to pay a bit. So we need to try to work with School for fraud, but we're going to read some tweets about it right now. Okay, so the UPSA Monday talk about Wasi or BEC. I think if you be BEC, nobody with aggregate six and Wasi will even think of buying a UPSA form. Okay, let's be sincere if you buy six A's and Wasi, you go buy U UPSA forms. No, mm -hmm. hell no, you get it. Hell no, funny how um, Pentecost University students do <laughs> the troll <laughs> UPSA and change. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, hello. <laughs> hey. I saw that coming. Hey. You know, Kabosh. <laughs> You're talking about who? I saw that coming. You saw that coming. <laughs> I saw that coming. It's How could you talk about like, like the kings yeah. haven't? Like the kings are quiet on their seats, relaxing. And, and you the servants are out. Penti Hey, Debbie. How about her? Penti University. See, if you you are truly who. <laughs> if you're trolling the UPS, it's true, but don't you dare bring GIG in this, like the best communication school. Don't, don't, let, me, don't let me get started. Hey, hey, well, well, we are sorry, we are sorry. I'm a tray, I'm a tray. Hey, briefing out. Hey, <laughs> Jumana. <laughs> so anyone uh, who gets eight A's and applies for schools at UPSA or GIG will be made head department. Hey, head of department. <laughs> my head, my head. You see, now you're getting it twisted. Like, I don't even understand this tweet. Somebody gets straight A's mm -hmm. and says that, oh, I want to apply for UPSA or GIG. That is where I want to go to. So the fact that I got A's means I should go to Legon or Tech? Yeah. That is the, no, that is the notion we've created. You know who? That's the notion created. We know your own mind. The way is some of the citizens in the, in the no, country. No, to be very honest, we, we feel that intelligence people go to Legon and Tech. To be very honest, that's no, what people think. Honestly, I mean, I feel like dumb people go to Legon. Sorry. Pardon? Most of them. Pardon? Most. Most. Pardon. <laughs> you be, you'll be know. part of the few. I don't I don't get the we face. Oh, but I'm, I'm no, no, I'm saying most, no. It's a few, no, few, no, few, no, no, few, few no, 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 You know, you know. If you are discussing it going here, Come on, so come on. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, um, any, okay, um, UPSA pretending to be some classic university. Cheeky, cheeky, and they retweet why cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> UPSA is saying they want to offer admission to students who score below aggregate six from next year. My question is, who will score aggregate six, six and be thinking of UPSA? <laughs> mm -hmm. Nobody. Everybody won't go Legon and Tech. So who mm. should go to UPSA? We need where UCC. No? This guy, one guy <laughs> what do you mean the back out? <laughs> <laughs> For me to attend a university with unaccredited programs, find here, I'll like, like I'll choose plumbing. Hey, wow. UPSC, mm. the best. Don't be fooled. Wow. You people for rates UPS is small. For the past three to four years, they've been the best business university in Ghana. Ah, you see their niche? You see what I'm talking about? Well, I don't. I don't. I F9 don't. in Wesley and you're worried. You know here of UPSC. What the <laughs> heck? <laughs> That means I'm over June. Uh, you get aggregate 30, and uh, you get aggregate 30 where you make basa. While UPSA they admit people we no rep was it before. Ah, chill. Really? Mm. UPSA is not a bad university, but there are far more better options of you have of you if it's supposed to be easy. Uh, uh -huh. There are far more better options if you have a good aggregate. Don't settle for less. Hey. Some of you some of you <laughs> Some of you 
Oh, some, some of you good PSA will um, graduate with a pass. That I promise you. The school isn't meant for dead brains. Your first class elsewhere is UPSA's third class. Ask and you will be told. It's that is very lie. true. No, 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 but on a more serious note, that's true. No, you see... Third class, first class somewhere is UPSA's third you can't, class. You can't say they're that. Very, they're very tough on, on, on education. Which university is that? See, all universities are tough. Trust Definitely. me. It, see, it depends. Lebanon is not tough. Hey! See, Shada, what are you reading? I'm reading psychology and Swahili, yeah? Mm -hmm. And... See, Lego. Hindukulu. Hindukulu is not Swahili. Boy, check. Malaika. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this and was a tip we off. <laughs> underrate such courses, yeah? Mm -hmm. Trust me. Come and do Kiswahili for one semester and you run away. So, do you guys write in Swahili? You, yeah, Swahili. You write in Swahili. Do you, do you speak it too? I am, um, I'm a beginner, so yeah. I, no, so like, well, let's say when you get to level 300, would you uh, be speaking it with your lecturer? I'm going to level 400. I, I, yeah, okay, so at um, oral class, you would have to speak Swahili. Okay. Although they help us, you know, with some English, but when we got to 300, the lecturer was like, we would have to be speaking the Swahili. Otherwise, because outside the lecture hall, you would not get anyone to That's speak the Swahili too, yeah. Then so how do you say how are you in Swahili? Or oh, hello. Hello, you can say mambo. Okay. Mambo. mambo. Yeah, and that's then I say them say mambo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going uh, straight to um, AMG. Bobi Dima. I'm not going to say Bobi Dima. Baby. I'm going to say America. I'm going to say Bobi Dima. I'm going to say Bobi Dima. AMG business. AMG business. So, um, <laughs> please, eh. This one, I want you. I want you to. Can you can you put the picture out there for my people to see first? The tweet. The tweet. All right. So um, Chris Wado posted this on his Snapchat uh, in the course of the week. I don't remember which day. And he says, "This is the community five Pentecost Church that told my mom and I that rooms available are far are, are for senior pastors, so we should sleep at the school park till morning." Maybe we would find help. Rooms stay empty, but it be for senior pastors when they are there. When there's a when there's a program. Yes. And um, today I feel break down the church, <laughs> then rebuild I'm with thirty plus rooms. But no go do. I go rather take go strip but go watch heavy women. Built a mosque fourteen years ago and the prayers from those Muslims has always been enough for me. Go ask Allah Tanko. Yes, so that is what um, Chris Wado wrote. So, Chris Wado, sure, um, some time back on NMAMI, they had to, you know, seek help from the church. And then this is what the church um, elders told them that, oh, we have rooms, or the rooms are for senior pastors when they come here for events. So, you better go to the school park or somewhere and find help and sleep there. And now, glory be to God, Jah Jehovah Emmanuel. Now, Chris Wado has become extremely, extremely rich. rich and says that I can, I can break this building and build it up with more than 30 rooms. But I won't do that because you guys told my mom and I to, you know, sleep in the school park. I've built a mosque for the Muslims about 14 years ago and their prayers are really doing well to me. I mean, for me, I think this submission is, is not a bad one. I don't, I don't want to even play the devil's advocate, but I think I'd have done the same thing. When I seek for help, you didn't give it to me. Now that you have money, do you think I'll, I'll be willing to no, help no, you? Not at all. You know, it's funny. This, this churches nowadays, when you go for help, they just wish you away or they'll give you an alternative. They only help the rich. That is the point. So when, when your time comes that you reach that limit that the God has blessed you, that is the time they need something from you. So just imagine the situation. At that critical moment, Need getting a Even place if to you sleep. Made me sleep one just night, the night, at least. It. But mm. to tell me that I should go and sleep on the park, there will be a savior. I'll get help. The help is the church. There is no other place help better than the church. The way you're smiling, smiling, that's how we we'll become. The Bible says that we should be helping the homeless, the widows, the orphans, and Where the, the Bible? church. <laughs> See, to be honest, I don't remember the verse. Uh, doesn't remember. But we started with the Bible. The Bible day. says they know the Pentecost church. They know that mm -hmm. they are supposed to be even feeding the poor, the homeless, the widows, the orphans. That is what the Bible teaches us. But you are doing opposite. 
Into that night, Nanka, or more or more corner be be caught so or more. It will be on their head. Definitely. And as a church preaching about Jesus Christ, and you are not acting like Jesus Christ, I mean, you are contradicting yourself, and that is what gives these atheists and nihilists and switch, yeah. And they'll just be trashing their religion like that. And sometimes, sometimes I just don't blame them, but sometimes churches no more come, they'll be doing things that gives these atheists horns and the f1 tree to come and just say anything they want you know and chris waddle charlie i agree with you make one come here i would have done because i was going to ask the question that do you think what he did was best but i mean from the beginning i've already given my answer that yeah. whatever he did i'm in full I, support I, I support his decision because if say in hard times or baby in the theater no worker trainers i saw worker trainers say uncle park no so no benya Help her. Funny enough, the same church the is, is, is building um, prisons and what do you happened? get in? Do you and get you it? couldn't give someone head to sleep, but is you it? are doing other things. Like funny it is, those churches. But, but wait, what if the uh, uh, it was? Well, okay, the, the question I wanted to ask, I'm not thinking about it. What if they didn't talk to the right person? If it's if, not their fault, they didn't get the right person. That is the point. Even if they didn't. Because they thought that was the right person. You are a Christian. You are in the church. You are preaching to people to help the poor and the needy. And you are not helping the poor and the needy. But, but the point, even if you don't, even if you're not able to give them a room, the church was there. Open the church for them to even sleep it. in the church. You get like, it. They could have just left somewhere. But you're telling them to go to school park. If something had happened to him. But yeah. yet still, you, the same church, will be expecting him to come and sow seed offering and all those things. Right. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyways, let's read some tweets because we're running out of time. My mom is a caterer. She went to cook for a two-day program at her assembly. The room they gave her to stay was well finished, but when the dickiness came for the program, they asked her to move from the room and sleep on the floor at the corridor. Just imagine what imagine. You can me. me. My mother would be, you, no, no, you're not serious. I'll be Pentecost member, but if you be true, then my people no try. Because one virtue in religion is to help regardless. Regardless. Beggars beg in bars and not in church because they know where to find general souls. Be very honest. <laughs> Wado has every right to talk, but the sure. whole point of him saying he can break it down and rebuild with 30 rooms makes no sense. Who cares what you do with the? Who cares what you do with your money? I see if they need his help. Bro, rest. Let bygones be bygones. Hey, wow. If it were be you, how would you feel? You see, Santo, uh, that if you are not in your shoes, there's no way. I'm over to ask you. Pentacles showed my grandma. She said, uh, Pentacles showed my grandma, and she said never again. A branch she and my grandfather helped build from scratch. He was their accountant person for several years, and when he fell sick, they couldn't even be bothered. He died and didn't even show any concern. My grandma never went back. That's sad. Very sad. This is lame at Chris Waddle. Protocols are protocols and must be observed. You know the number of empty rooms at the Flagstaff house, yet a few meters down the streets of Usu, people sleep on the street. Pentecost is very... Hey, Bureaucratic. Bureaucratic. Residents, uh, uh, bureaucratic. Resident pastors cannot make decisions on their own. Oh. Okay, um, it's, it's true. No, I understand. I understand. It's not an excuse. No, no, but you see, and then the person that made mention of Flagstaff House. Is Fla Flagstaff, Flagstaff House? What are you church. talking about? Is it a church? Is, it a church? is Flagstaff House preaching for us to um, no, help so them? Let's say yeah. that you know, Flagstaff House is the house of the president, right? Uh -huh. Now there are so many rooms there, and there are a lot of uh, homeless people. But this is what the person is forgetting. That is why we have the the the. Uh, Accra, Osu, children's, children's home, home and all and those orphanage homes. Orphanage are. homes. Like, yeah. they could find themselves there. If, there's, if it's a job, if they have a home and you it's a job they're looking abroad, for, they can get they that. have homeless shelters. Yes. They have shelters. I, 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 does Ghana have any? In Ghana, they are homeless shelters. You know, you know <laughs> if there was something like that. It could have been an option. It could have been an option. Now, come on, why are you moving? And also, no, but at least you, you, you find somewhere yeah, to you get somewhere, you get somewhere to sleep. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. it's rather unfortunate we have to come to the end of the show. But before we leave, I'd like my guests to, you know, give us our social, their social media handles so we could, you know, follow them, get updates on what they're doing with their lives. So please, I'm going to start with the lady. Yeah. You tell us the social media handles. <laughs> and then so you let on us. Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok, I'm Akusia underscore Amwabia. 
And on Snapchat, I'm Akosia underscore Amwabia with an H. Okay. Please book me for your Christmas hairs. Oh. Men charge you see a Alright. I'm also on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as Samson Fabrice, and on TikTok, Ken Samson Fabrice. I also do MC aside. So, when you MC here for your own oh, Christmas, no, you're not a bad team. When you're MC here, on to answer, I'm going to go to Matthias here. Never mind Christmas, and you're there because I'm not there. You're not there. Hey, mm. <laughs> yes. Anyways, my name is Wesley Kessie. You can follow me on all social media platforms at Wesley Kessie GH. I say all social media platforms. That means every app you have, yeah, just type Wesley Kessie GH and you're going to find me. Thank you so much. Stick and stay. We're going to see you next time. Same time next week. About 10 pena. Share your waha. That's bye for now. Don't worry, baby. Nominees for the 12th Adonko RTP Awards are ready. Who walks home with prestige and pride? The 12th Adonko RTP Awards comes up at the Moving Peak Ambassador Hotel. Sunday, 11th December 2022, 4 p.m. sharp. The 12th Adonko RTP Awards is sponsored by Adonko Company Limited, Adonko Next Level Energy Drink, Jim Ray Estate, Special Drinks, Simisura by Abdo, Yas Tissues, Dofu Roofing Systems, A to Z Auto Servicing, and Corporate Ghana Awards. For MX24 TV to win Television Digital Station of the Year Award, dial star 447 star 111 hash, enter nominee code 32 to vote. Nominees for the 12th Adonko RTP Awards are ready. Who walks home with prestige and pride? The 12th Adonko RTP Awards comes up at the Moving Peak Ambassador Hotel. Sunday, 11 December 2022, 4 p.m. sharp. The 12th Adonko RTP Awards is sponsored by Adonko Company Limited, Adonko Next Level Energy Drink, Jim Ray Estate, Special Drinks, Simisura by Abdo, Yas Tissues, Dofu Roofing Systems, A to Z Auto Servicing, and Corporate Ghana Awards. For the AM Club to win Television Morning Program of the Year Award, dial star 447 star 111 hash, enter nominee code 80 to vote. Fighting